What's up ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube world, this is Chris and this is my channel Barn on 11970 and I thank you as always for checking out my video. Alright, um, I made a video about, probably about a week or so ago, about how you could make uh, some all-natural toothpaste. Basically to help save your money and to have something that has less chemicals in it. Um, I've been doing some more research and I got some of the ingredients that I ordered that I was talking about the other day. And I have made my own version that is not only better for you, but it's going to be 100% organic. And you are going to save a lot of money in the long run because you're not going to need a lot of this to be able to have it affected. So with that, without further ado, let's get into the ingredients and then we'll talk about how easy it is to make this. So basically, you're going to start out, you need just a little pot, uh, preferably one that has a little lip because it's easier to pour. Um, but if not, just get one of those little plastic funnels and that'll work perfectly fine. Um, this is a glass jar that I would recommend. I got this directly from a, uh, a taco sauce jar because you want something wide. Uh, as you can see, it already has the material in it. I just made this stuff a little while ago, so it's still in liquid form. Um, so basically, getting yourself one of the little eyedroppers is the best way to go. Or if you just live by yourself, you can just dip your toothbrush in there. So literally, you're only going to need four to six drops. And that will last you, just one person, last about two to three weeks. So you're going to get a lot out of it. So, of course, you're going to need a tablespoon and a teaspoon and a heating source to warm up the oil. So let's get into the ingredients. Now, I am not trying to endorse any products. I'm not getting paid by any of these people. These are the ones I just happen to buy. Buy your own if you have a preference. So there's no specific brand that I'm recommending. You're going to see a variety. So the first ingredient you're going to need, one of the major ingredients, this is organic coconut oil, extra virgin oil. Comes, as you can see, very solid. It has a melting temperature of roughly around 70, 72 degrees. So it doesn't take a lot to loosen this up. So you're going to start out with this, about approximately eight tablespoons of organic coconut oil. Uh, the next ingredient you're going to need, this is organic baking soda. Now, um, from what I've been researching, Arm & Hammer is okay, but it's not going to be the most beneficial. Um, this particular brand, this is what a lot of people have been recommending. It's uh, Bob's Red Mill Baking Soda. It's all natural. Um, it has to do with the way they um, manufacture the product and how they get it out of the ground. Um, there's a process that they do. It just makes it more natural. They don't do any treatments to it. So this is the one I would recommend. If you know of any others, leave it in the comment section. Again, I'm not trying to promote any one particular brand. Okay, the next thing you're going to need is hydrogen peroxide. Now that is a teeth whitener. Um, if you've ever bought one of those special white um, teeth whitening mouthwashes, which they charge you like nine to ten dollars for, main ingredient is hydrogen peroxide. So you could buy it in the bottle. Obviously, this will cost you about a dollar or two, and that'll last you, you know, for how long? Uh, that you're only going to need about two to three tablespoons of the hydrogen peroxide. So you don't need a lot. So that bottle is going to last you a long time. Next thing you're going to need. This is peppermint pure essential oil. You don't want anything other than essential oil because that means it's just the oil. They're not adding anything else. And the peppermint is a breath freshener. And it also, like the um, organic coconut oil, is a disinfectant. So it will kill any germs in your mouth. Okay. The next thing that you were going to add. This is vitamin E oil. Now, the type here is um, nature's bounty because this is pure enough to take orally. So this is ingestible vitamin E oil. It's also good for your skin. So um, also, if you're pregnant, if you want to get rid of, you know, some of the little lines, vitamin E oil directly on it is going to help your skin. So vitamin E oil is a necessity. Uh, this has got 30,000 IUs per bottle. Um, again, if you have other preferences as far as brands, that's perfectly fine. You're only going to need a half a teaspoon of the vitamin E oil. Okay, the next, this is, and you don't have to buy it in such a big container, this is organic aloe vera gel. This actually is, is an edible um, aloe vera gel. Very good for you. It's called Lily of the Desert Whole Leaf, and this is a gallon. Obviously, you don't have to buy it that much, but if you're going to make as much as for a large family, this has about a two-year shelf life. 
So it will last you a long time. And then last but um, that you're going to use only about a tablespoon of the aloe vera. And last but not least, I have this in a jar. This is um, Himalayan, pink Himalayan salt. It's some of the most nutritious salts out there. Instead of using regular white salt with this processed, uh, this you're only going to use a half teaspoon. But check, if you've never heard of pink Himalayan salt, I highly recommend checking into it. Um, I actually sell the pink um, Himalayan salt on my website. Very nutritious stuff. So you're only going to need about a half and um, half a teaspoon of that. Not a lot. Maybe a pinch. Depends on your preference. So basically, all you're going to do is you're going to take all those ingredients, put them into your pan. The best way to be able to blend everything together is to warm this up. So you only literally have to heat it for maybe 30 seconds. Everything will melt down, and you'll see that it'll have a liquid consistency. And then you could let it dry, and it'll turn into solid. Make sure you have a lid, because this will stay fresh. You can use this anytime. And like I said, you only need about three to five drops, and you will feel, especially if you add, like I said, between 30 and 40 drops of the peppermint oil. I may have forgotten that, so if I did... Um, it's 30 to 40 drops of the peppermint oil, so forgive me if I forgot that. Um, I will put all the ingredients in the description box below, so you'll be able to get all this. Now, if you wanted to try and save money, you only need th um, basically three ingredients. You would only need the um, coconut oil, the baking soda, and the um, peppermint oil. So those three ingredients alone will make the all-natural um, toothpaste. All the other stuff basically just makes it that much better for you. So if you're trying to save money, just use the first three ingredients. If you want it to be as healthy as possible, adding all those extra items is just going to make it that much better, especially the vitamin E oil and the aloe vera. So it's going to whiten your teeth. I don't know if you could see. It's, it, it, it actually, it's funny. It actually makes you want to brush your teeth even more. Um, not that I'm saying that somebody's going around only brushing once a day or something, but it, it just actually, because of the sensation that you feel, and it lasts for almost an hour or two after you brush your teeth, uh, it almost makes you want to do it even more. So especially if you have kids that you find that they don't like brushing their teeth and they give you a hard time, uh, this might be something that can actually help them to want to do it more. So if you guys like this, one thing that I would ask for is since YouTube is trying so desperately hard to keep helpful and truthful information away from the general public i'm asking for your help all i'm asking for is for a thumbs up to share this hit the favor button place it on your social media networks that's the only thing i require well not require i request because if we don't work as a community and get this information out there are going to be plenty of people that miss out on things that are going to be very beneficial to them um unfortunately they whether people want to believe it or not um, they try and hide this stuff. I've had many subs confirm over the months and years how many of the videos don't get out, how they get unsubscribed for no reason, how in the middle of watching a video it just stops and it won't allow them to watch it. So if you can share this, if you feel this is beneficial and you know of people that will benefit from this, if you can share it, you're helping this community get information out. And I'm not just talking my videos. Help anybody out there that is going to do something that's beneficial. We need to work together. So thank you in advance for that. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me about this. Leave your comments below. And if you have never been a uh, watcher of my channel, The Bar None Nation, I really would love to have you as part of our team. So hit the subscribe button somewhere below here. I don't know exactly where it is. And thank you for watching, guys. And don't forget, have your trolls spayed or neutered. Have a good day, everybody, and happy brushing. Peace.